sell items automatically. And I figured that wouldn't be too much, but it was a good idea to do that. Um, go to the marketplace. Buy more food. Oh wait, no. We, we've not cleaned this place out, but we have dealt much in their food, in their the uh, purchase of vittles at this establishment, at this particular entrepot. I like you. Oh man, that's fabulous. Fabulous! That is excellent. Um Oh, we we are we've got DNRs out the out the but um let's try to find the king and I could have actually done that by talking to um, whoever that was. <laughs> Where did he go? This guy with the unthinkable, uh, banner that's light green and purple. Looks like he's, like, a freaking piece of Wonka candy or something. Oh, my. I guess that's the deal with these guys, is they pick on the, um caravans and they get all their their escorts shame on them it's very naughty let's go um, actually to proper Nordic territory hmm. that's actually a big development for them I feel like they've been at war for a really long time I want to check these guys out. I don't care about them. Changed my mind. How goes the war? It's at a standstill. Hmm. Don't know how I feel about that, to be honest with you. I, 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 it would possibly indicate that there's progress being made, but I think Effington has made his mind up. And he's made up his mind. He ain't wasting no more time. Here he goes again, on his own. Going down the only road he's ever known. Well, these guys are pure shit. Um. Oh my god! <laughs> I think, uh... Okay, well let's let's reassess here. Now they do have mercenary swordsmen. The problem I have with those is that they are just fantastically expensive to keep. He's got a chevalier. Ooh. Ha ha ha. And um, while they're good troops, they cost a lot of money. They're disproportionately expensive. I I think uh, that's based on my minor experience in this game. Um, let's see if we can talk to... I actually forgot to be on the lookout for lords. Hurt the guff for good up there. Smorgy burgy! Okay. Prince Valdim the Bastard. This is the, uh, uh, pretender to the Vagir throne. Interesting. We might wait here in tier. Because there's a lot of bullshit going on. Oh, yeah, I'll go to the Great Feast. Yeah, that sounds like a really good plan. You know what, actually... I don't know, maybe, maybe Effington... Oh, that is a good point, actually, that's being brought up here. This business. We own land there. I don't know if it's going to be confiscated or... Certainly, if we went to war with the Nords, which is a increasing likelihood. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, that would be an asset that we'd lose. I'm just going to let those guys go. Mercenary swordsmen, again. Nice troops, but not as nice as they're worth. Or they cost. They're too expensive. There.
I don't know, maybe, uh... Maybe this was, um, Effington's equivalent of his Veldsprunga or whatever. Isn't that what they call the, the Amish thing, where they get to go out and drink a beer? And, uh, experience the wider world. I don't mean to demean that. Um, my apologies to all the Amish people out there watching this, I guess. <laughs> but, uh... Uh... <laughs> shit. <laughs> um... Maybe this was his way of sowing his wild oats, is what I'm trying to say. Those are my thoughts. Okay, now this guy... He's a... He went from the Karagats to the Nords. Um, it used to be overwhelmingly happening the other way around. Interested to see where his holding is. Man, the, uh, the Vagers look in sad shape. So there's apparently the Jelkala, they're having a a barbecue or something. Let's go check that out. Let's haul ass over there. Oh! Padrona Ruha? Isn't that a feminine term? Oh my. That is a fascinating development. That really is surprising. Um, we took Jamish Castle back, too. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe things go better if we're not involved. <laughs> I mean, that... Oh, Christ. That's a paltry sum. I guess I... Um... Interesting, though. I mean, this is all just... I'm just realizing that this is happening now, I guess. Jamish is back in our hands. Uh, we're still in the war. I don't know. Hmm. I mean, I had a plan. This might be his... Uh, his oh, there's an actual tournament here. Well, why not? Um, hmm. Real quick, just gonna actually. Uh, this is what I want. Four, four, four doesn't sound like very much fun. I'm gonna stick with this. I like that. I don't need that. How about that? How about we do that? Because that's been. Or we could do this. Let's do that. Let's let's see how that plays out for us. Because I don't have any use for the spear. I don't tend to use it. So uh, let's go ahead and see how this works for us. Oh dear me. That's working very well for us. <laughs> I didn't even hit him that hard. He must have had a self-destruct. No, oh, get that thing away from me. Oh, that's not... That's a friendly lance. Jeez, okay. Oh, my, my. This was a good choice. Oh! Oh! <laughs> my warrior cry was for nothing. I don't know if that was a warrior cry. I think that was a a tenor um, shout. I don't know. Fight in the next round. <laughs> am I ranked one? Yes, I am ranked one. Oh god! No! 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 Oh, thank God! That could have been really bad. I like that sound effect of the guy. He sounds like he's being totally grossed out. No. 
Not allowed. Get out of here. I guess it's something to bear in mind for all you folks out there who are interested in playing Floris and like the tournaments. Um, this makes things um, much, much easier. I could actually up the up uh, the difficulty. Up the up. I don't know what I was saying there. Oh, the Doge is in the tournament. I wonder if I can target him and just beat the shit out of him. That would be fantastic. It's, it's hard to make him out, I guess. You know what's nice is I think that my companions in this don't have the ridiculous uh, levels of hit points. So when I kill them, they or when I hit them, they die really easily because they don't. Uh, they're not on steroids. I keep I run a clean ship, a man ship. Oh, you fucking KS me. That's okay. I forgive you because your name is Lepurd. And you must have had a really rough life. <sighs> oh, wow. Good going. Yay. Oh, we're having a little bit of a problem here, aren't we? And this is going to be a big problem. Um, yeah. We're, we're not going to win this round, actually. It's because Lepert is on the other team. Oh, God. Get me a one, one more kill. One more kill. Stop it. Stop poking me. Ow. Well, we lost. <laughs> My, uh team apparently just decided to fold in on itself like a fucking black hole. That's fine. Parentis got a kill. Bully for him. I'm still number one. Shovin! Uh, that I thought was gonna kill me. Ah! Cucks! Fucking. Ah. <laughs> and a string of garbled obscenities escapes me. Still quite difficult, though, um, even with the enhanced damage. Yeah, we might... Yep, we're ranked two. Gotta win this one. We're in it to win it. Yes. Kills. Show me the money. Yes. 100 damage. Ow. Yes. Blood for the blood god. Wrong universe, but it still stands. Yes. I am all that is man with my enhanced cheating damage. <laughs> and apparently... Oh, Lepurd! It's always Lepurd! What is he doing? Okay. Bird, bird, bird. The bird is the word. Yeah, just kill him. Thank you. We'll get extra points for having a victorious team. I don't know if he was the one that was behind me or not. LAPERD! <laughs> we got a black roundsy though, that's okay. 
Oh, crap. Uh, let's go to the castle and talk to the doge and uh, see what see where things stand. Oh, I wonder if my lady friend is about. Aliena? You're not from around here, are you? Um, let's find... Lots of ladies. Trying to see, actually, if our paw-in-law is around. Timothy. Okay. Don't know if Effington swings that way. Haven't really thought about it. Let's talk to the doge. Such crown. Many robe. Um... I, I, I am remembering now that these serve really no purpose uh, other than to have a lot of lords in one place at one time. Uh, and you have creepy eyes. Can I get my, uh, my Mac on, as the kids say? You look pathetic. I'm not even going to talk to you. She just looks like a unhappy waif. I'm not interested. I like the uh, natural hairstyle. I don't have it all up in a cake on top of your head or whatever that is. Uh, tell me about yourself. You are here for the feast. You are quite the feast yourself. Um. Yeah. I was very successful, by the way. I got number two. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Ooh. Pitter patter. I would like that very much as well. I do enjoy speaking to you, but I'm sure you understand that our people cluck their tongues at a woman to spend too long or at a woman to, who spends too long conversing with a man outside her family, although the Heavens know it's never the man who is held to blame. You got that right, sister. I'm utterly blameless. It's probably not suitable for us to tarry too long here in conversation. I don't know what that word means. Um, but I would hope to see you again soon. Um, so let's see. <clears throat> Garmal, who is one of the actually more powerful lords here in uh, the Republic. And uh, Reland also, who I think is the marshal now. Let's talk to Reland. He's here at the feast, apparently. Reland. 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 Um. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we, we've got that task from... That's right, this is the fucking guy who told us... Yeah, go spy on that giant city. How about that? Um, I think that that's enough of this. Uh, let's just... to visit a lady. Maria. Alright, fine. Um... Let's buy some food. Some dried meat. Cheap bread. Excellent. My hunger is shaded. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's a pretty intense look there. Um. Oh yeah, yeah. We got the the thick black route scene. <laughs> is this really? <laughs> Here we go again, folks. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Who? Oh. Um. Who? Oh. Let's. Um. Who? Oh. Let's get rid of this, actually. I'm done with this. I'm done having this. I'm done having this, for that matter. And, uh. Yeah. I think, uh. I, 
I want better body armor, and that's probably something I should have been looking for, at least while I was near the uh, Swanian territories. Um, let's actually see what's going on up at the front. A lot of brass there. Uh, let's let's take a look at Jamish. What are you doing here? Oh, you silly monkey. You cheeky monkey. And I ran. I ran so far away. I just ran. I couldn't get away. Um, scrap all. Reassess. <laughs> Take the field. There we go. What are they gonna do? They're charging. Oops. You wagered go for it. Actually, that's not the way that that sketch works. Um, actually, hey, 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 come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Did not get my archers in position, unfortunately. Here. Oh, horses are getting hurt. Hurt see the horsies. Ow. Or the measies. And. Thank you. Ow. Stop it. Don't know the impact of your, your choices. Let me show you. happened there. <laughs> I'm sorry, folks. <laughs> Alright. Um, moving on. 11 wounded, um, including Ganawa. <laughs> we could improve our honor by releasing him. Boy, I wonder though. Effington might be kind of disillusioned by all of this. War. War never changes. Hmm. He might not even give a shit anymore. I kind of makes sense to me to release him. I don't know. You guys might argue this point with me. Um. But I, I really feel like he might be just like, fuck it, get out of here. He might realize that the Serenids, while repugnant, the real problem lies within the very soul of the Rodak Republic. Hmm. I'm doing it. Uh, I, I promise that wasn't just a gamey decision. You do get honor for that, and that's nice to get, but... Um, I feel like that's a genuine response there. Feel free to disagree. I, I, I'm interested in uh, hearing what people think about how I roleplay, so... Such as I do. Uh, let's... Uh, Mittens. Okay. Aren't we cozy? So let's go uh, check out the front. Um, if it's in a completely deplorable state, if Jamish is clearly not guarded, I think that that's going to possibly seal the deal for Effington. He's going to be like, we just aren't in this. We, wh what, what are we doing here? What am I doing here? What is any of us doing here? Actually, might be good timing because my computer is starting to poo its pants. Yep, it's about what I expected. I figured it would be lightly held. Let me take a, a peek see at uh, 
Almera, which is probably well defended. Oh dear. Oh dear. He's gonna run inside, yeah. Belir. Oh, you sloppy piece of shit. Oh, wait, no, he's the marshal now. I thought, wait, is that what that said? Yeah, he, he says that he's now, Gutlands is the marshal. That's fine. Now, this guy is the um, care kit. I want to have a chat with him. And, yeah, that is fantastically well defended. Okay. I'm Effington, and you have a wonderful hat. Hmm. Who do you think should receive it? I support myself. I support myself. Ah, interesting. <laughs> Very deep political discussion there. He's probably the one that took it, honestly. Uh, oh, we have enemies there. Oh. Let's uh, check things out real quick, and I think we might call it an episode. If there's a battle that we can get into, then maybe we will do that. I think, you know what, I think that the Doge is uh, is gotta go, though, regardless. Um, so the option of putting Castor of Veluca on the throne is appealing to Effington. We've lost track of them. They probably are over here. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Let's go with one of those. Why not? Two of those. I can count. Good news. What do the Fantes look like? Ooh, fancy. Very fancy shields. Okay, um, moving on. But yeah, I mean, putting the Pretender on the throne is starting to look pretty appealing. Uh, I don't know exactly what that gets us. I haven't actually done it in a game of mine. Um, know if that would serve our purposes very well. It is kind of the reaction I would expect Effington to have, though. Hmm. No, we can't find that group. Um, well, we didn't get a whole lot done this session, to be honest with you, but that's okay. Um... Let's actually go to Jokola and we haven't collected our rent. We're bad landlords. Ching. We could buy a bunch of acres. <clears throat> Doing it. Uh, we have spent a little bit more money on that than we really should, but whatever. We'll make some money back on that. Um, we kind of are ending uh, about where we did before. Um, we haven't really made significant progress. We actually just made money. Uh, a sec ah, I was going to say essentially, and then I wanted to say effectively, and then I was about to say essentially. New word. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so I don't really know where we go from here. Um, I'm thinking going towards Castor. I'm thinking that that's the next step. Because the Doge is still not in it. Uh, we, we've looked at the front. We've um, seen that he still just doesn't give a shit. So, I'm just going to see if I can sell prisoners. So, I think that that's what's going to happen. I'm going to try to track him down and have a chat with him, a little heart-to-heart, -heart and say, Listen, this Doge guy, he's a bald-headed piece of poop, and we, we got to get him out. So, that's the plan for next time. I, it took me a little bit of time. I guess playing the game actually got me thinking about it a little bit more. So, you know... That's the process that we had to go through, and I'm glad that we arrived at this conclusion. I'm going to do it. I, that's what's going to happen uh, in the ensuing episodes. We are going to take the Doge out. We're going to put Castor of Veluca on the throne of the Republic. Does that work? The throne? Well, 
President Castor. <sighs> Doesn't have much of a ring to it, but we'll make it work. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.